Hey guys, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be trying the new Herborean Super BB Cream and I'm going to be comparing this one to my all-time favorite Sisley Phytohydra Tent. Now these two products have very similar claims. They are supposed to be half skincare, half makeup products and the price is very different. Those of you who are regular viewers to my channel, a very special thank you uh, for watching my videos and for spending time with me. You already know how much I love the Sisley Phytohydra 10. This is one of my favorite products and I have been repurchasing this product over the years. And I love it because it looks exactly like skin and it's very suitable for my sensitive skin. And it looks exactly like skin, it is long lasting and it offers great coverage. It offers light coverage, but it can be built up to a medium coverage depending on what you want. Now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this product in a minute, but first of all, let's take a closer look at the new reformulated Herborean Super BB Cream. This is supposed to be an improved version of their old BB Cream that has even more benefits. The reason why I decided to purchase this product in the first place is that when I was browsing at my local retailer, I swatched this on my arm and it somehow felt similar to the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer. And I'm always looking for a nice, more affordable replacement of this one because I know that this one is pricey for a lot of people and that's why I wanted to try something. Now I have only the travel size here because I was not sure. Let me read a little bit uh, information about this Super BB Cream. I'm going to zoom in the ingredients of both products. We are comparing them today. So it says on the box, half makeup, providing more coverage than the original BB Cream, Super BB conceals imperfections, redness and dark spots. Thanks to its light and comfortable texture, Super BB leaves a natural velvety finish and perfectly even complexion. And half skincare, Super BB combines two Korean super ingredients, white ginseng and fermented ginseng flour in a formula that instantly reveals a smoother, more moisturized skin. In order to visibly reduce imperfections, pimples, pores, blackheads, etc., the formula has been enriched with niacinamide, a powerful active ingredient for clearer skin. Now looking at the ingredient list of this product, I think that it's going to be great and especially it's going to be great for people who have normal to combination skin, uh, maybe if you have some imperfections, the niacinamide is a great skincare ingredient. It's actually my favorite skincare ingredient, which is suitable also for sensitive skin. And the Herborean Super BB Cream has a mineral SPF 20. Now a little bit of information about the Sisley Phytohydra 10. This is a new generation tinted skincare, the effectiveness of daily skincare with a veil of color due to its all-in-one formula. It offers hydration thanks to the white lily extract that moisturizes and brings comfort to the skin. Perfection, a fruity cocktail of plant-based extracts with energizing, astringent and smoothing properties to help refine the look of the skin texture and protection, buckheat seed extract. Sisley is a brand that is famous for their botanical extracts and they are famous for their incredible quality skincare products, but they are very pricey. Herborean, on the other hand, is an award-winning Korean skincare brand. And you know, when we say Korean, we always think about great skin, incredible skin. So Koreans know a thing or two about beautiful, gorgeous skin. So that's why I was very interested to try this product and compare it to the Sisley one. Because in terms of ingredients, they both contain botanical extracts, they both contain a mineral SPF. Of course, you should not rely on the SPF that is in these products because you cannot possibly apply enough. But a good thing um, that I see here in both products is that they contain iron oxides, which means that they also protect against blue light. They give you some blue light protection, which is excellent. Now, let me go ahead and I don't have anything on my skin. Now I'm going to apply on half of my face the Herborean Super BB Cream. And then on the other half of my face, I'm going to apply the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, the colors are not the same, the Herborean. I have it in the shade Claire. This is the palest shade. And I think that in the summer, se in the winter season, it might be possibly a little bit deep for me, but I think that it's going to work because this is a BB cream. It's supposed to be more sheer, so I think it's going to work. Now, initially when I touched the products and when I swatched them next to each other, I can say that the Herborean Super BB Cream feels a little bit drier. It feels like probably it's going to be a little bit more long lasting, probably like a product that is going to be uh, better for people who have oily skin or 
normal to combination skin. It doesn't feel drying, but it just feels a little bit drier and uh, let's say not dry, but it doesn't feel as moisturizing as the Sisley Fito Hydratant. Even though uh, once they dry, they feel very similar. I'm going to see how they look on my face now. And this one seems to, initially when I swatch it, it seems to, that it's going to have just a little bit more coverage compared to this one. So I'm starting with the Herborean on this side of my face. I'm going to squeeze a that much and I'm going to apply this with my fingers. Now when I touch it, it does look like, uh, it feels a little bit thicker compared to the Sisley tinted moisturizer. I'm going to go ahead and try, yes, it has more coverage. I can see this right away. It has more coverage compared to the Sisley tinted moisturizer. It's not as light, it is um, definitely thicker. I'm going to apply this also under my eyes because I'm applying the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer also under my eyes. It serves as concealer. So that's why I want to give the product a fair test. And really compare them. Okay, so I have one dilated pore here since my childhood. I don't know why, but it, it did not cover this um, pore, but it kind of happens with, with some thicker foundations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work a little bit more here. Um, in terms of shade, it matches my skin tone nicely. This is my, more like almost I'm having my summer shade here. Okay, this product gives me straight medium coverage. I would say solid medium coverage right away. So it definitely has more coverage compared to the Sisley tinted moisturizer, but it did not, it doesn't emphasize pores and it kind of, I can apply it very easily. Okay, now this is with my half face done. As you can see, it immediately gives me medium coverage. It is thick, it can be applied with fingertips. Um, I have to try how it's going to work. I, I have a feeling that it's going to work best with fingertips um, because the consistency is, is thick, but at the same time, it's creamy and I feel like I need to really rub it in my skin. Now, it definitely feels a little bit heavier than the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer. It still feels like nothing on the skin, but definitely gives a lot more coverage compared to the Sisley one. And now let me go ahead and clean my, my hands, my fingers, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Sisley. Okay, we're moving on to the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade 0 0.5, which matches my summer skin. And then for the winter, I only wear, I can only wear zero. Um, but 0 0.5 is a great match for me for the summer months because it gives me a little bit of this kind of a sun-kissed glow. Okay, this is what I love here about the Sisley Moisturizer. You can see probably on camera that the consistency is much thicker, uh, thinner. I'm gonna need a touch of lip balm and I'm going to share with you my initial thoughts. Okay, I feel a little bit better with um, a touch of color on my lips and also a little bit of lip balm. It just feels so much better. And now I'm going to share with you my initial thoughts about these two products. I think that it's not so blended here, but anyways, let's ignore that. It's just for testing purposes today. Now, the biggest difference initially after the first application is that the Herborean Super BB Cream definitely gives a solid medium coverage right away, right after application. It definitely concealed everything, all the darkness under my eye. Whereas the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer, it feels much lighter on the skin and it feels more hydrating. Um, and as you can see, you can still see a little bit of darkness on my, under my eyes, which um, can, the camera kindly emphasizes all the time. But then 
in real life, if I if I go out in real life, I absolutely can use this product under my eyes and I don't use concealer. If you don't have severe darkness, this is absolutely enough to use also under the eyes. On camera, it always looks a little bit better if you have heavier makeup, but not the same in real life. Now I'm looking at myself, I'm looking in a magnifying mirror as well. On this side of my face, it definitely looks like I'm wearing foundation, whereas on this side of my face, nobody can tell that I'm wearing foundation or any kind of enhancement just because you can see my freckles showing through and like this um, the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer sinks so beautifully into the skin, it becomes one with the skin and somehow, somehow it just blurs a little bit um, imperfections, it gives a nice blurring effect. Um, and it gives the effect of well moisturized skin. Now it's worth noting that here right now it is very, very hot. I'm not turning the air conditioning on because it messes with the mic and <laughs> we're going to have troubles. After that, we're going to have troubles with the audio of the video. You're going to hear the white noise from the air conditioning. So it's really hot right now in the room where I am. So I can imagine that this is going to look so much better in the winter time or like, if it's colder. Overall, I really like this Herborean Super BB Cream, but I would say that if you have dry skin, it's you might feel that this is going to be a little bit drying for you. Even though it looks very luminous, very glowing, the way when I started applying it on my skin, I think that it's not going to be the best one for um, if you have very dry skin. But this is actually supposed to be used on skin that is prone to imperfections. So it is designed for a more normal to combination skin. But I think that all skin types can use it apart from very dry skin. Let's say if you have very dry skin, dehydrated skin, this might tend to emphasize the dryness. Overall, if you enjoy, I think that a lot of people are going to prefer this one. Now, considering the price difference, I think that it both look very nice. I think that both look, both sides look very nice. I'm going to wear this the whole day. I'm going to finish off my makeup, wear it the whole day, and then I'm going to check in in the evening. What I love about these two products is that they are really hybrid products. They have skincare benefits and they also double as a makeup. Now, Herborean have a CC cream also, which I tried, and this one is more much lighter, it is uh, more glowy, and the CC cream um, has um, feels more hydrating and feels lighter. It has a light coverage, not as high coverage as this one. So I think that the CC cream is going to be more suitable for people who have dry skin. Now I'm going to wait for the whole day to see how it's going to work on my skin, but so far I really like both sides. Let me know what you think in the comments below and then I'm going to finish off my makeup. Before I start doing my makeup, I just wanted to um, mention, I just wanted to comment on the colors. Now on my arm, the colors look very different. Like this looks very pinkish, this looks very yellow. Right now on my face, um, I'm looking at myself. I can't really say that I'm I have two different colors. Uh, if you safe to go out just like that, well, um, go out just like that. It's obvious that I'm wearing two different products. In terms of color, they both match. But then uh, mm -hmm. if I go out like this um, outside, a lot of people are going to think, well, why did she apply makeup on half of her face? It looks like I'm wearing makeup on this part of my face. It looks like I have nothing on this part of my face. So yeah, it's going to be a weird situation. But let me go ahead and finish off my makeup. I'm going to apply powder because I live in a very hot and humid climate. The humidity is over 70% quite often or around 70%. Um, which is the case now and I'm literally melting if I don't apply powder. Now if you don't want to watch me applying my makeup of the day, just um, have a look at the description box. I'm going to have timestamps so in case you don't want to watch me doing my makeup, just um, skip this part of the video. I'm going to use my trusted and loved Givenchy Prisma Libre loose powder. This is the one that I use in the summer months because I have a combination skin. I would highly recommend this powder to those of you who have oily skin. It works for all skin types, but I feel like people with oily skin truly appreciate it because it gives you this very poreless, flawless effect. So I'm applying this only in the center of my face where my skin gets Ooh, gets shiny. <laughs> what did I do? I, like, 
Okay, I like to apply this one with a sponge, with a beauty blender, but I always like to tap on my arm first so, so that I don't end up with that much powder that I need to then. But that's okay, just... Good thing is that it's makeup, so it's fixable. Okay guys, now after applying the powder, I actually start to love this side because it's more perfected compared to this side. Like this side is uh, still looks as if there is nothing going on here, but this one um, it definitely has more coverage and it removed, like this powder removed the makeup-y look that I had here. And one thing that I cherish the most about makeup products and about the foundations, tinted moisturizers, all kinds of base products is when they don't look makeup-y, when they look as if I'm not wearing any makeup. And this powder really helped to create this look. Right now, it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup, and I think that I even like this side a little bit better right now. I'm gonna do a very quick and effortless makeup look, and I'm going to be using one of my favorite colors. This is um, one of the YSL mini clutch palettes. It's one of my favorites. It's number 600 and I'm going to use this color. This color is gorgeous. I have been using it a lot. It is like a, almost like a summer sunset slash sunrise. It has such a beautiful shimmer. Now, if you want to see this eyeshadow palette swatched in natural light, close-ups of the palette of the colors um, and everything more detailed review, I have one. So I'm going to make sure to link it here. So either click, click here or just um, head to the descript, head over to the description box and uh, I'm going to have a link to the video. I think that this one is worth the splurge just for this color here. I love it. I can apply this with a brush or with fingers. I usually like to, when I'm in a hurry, I usually like to apply this one with my, tap it with my fingers and then use a brush to blend it more precisely. Then for my crease, I'm going to be using a combination of these two colors. This is one of the new Dior eyeshadow palettes. Again, I, I have a review of this one. In case you're interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. I have swatches, close-ups of the palette in natural light. This is uh, 429. And this is a combination that I love. It looks beautiful in the summer, especially in the sunshine, because um, the color that I applied from YSL is shimmery. And when I combine it with these soft browns, it looks beautiful. One of my favorite blushes from Hermes. So I'm thinking that this is going to be my finished makeup. I don't want to apply highlighter, even though I feel very tempted to do so, because I want to see what kind of shine um, and, and how shiny my face is going to get during the day. And the highlighter is always going to change that. It's always going to interfere with the shine and it's probably always going to emphasize the shine. So in this video, my goal is to clearly show you the difference between these two products so that you can decide for yourself. Maybe some of you are going to buy this one instead of this one because you're saving a lot of money. So anyway, so right now everything looks quite flawless. And if I have to be honest, I think that I like this side a little bit better because it is more perfected. Now, I did not like it um, alone, the tinted moisturizer with Without the powder. I kind of liked it but didn't love it because it was looking as if I'm wearing makeup. And once I applied the powder, the setting powder, everything looks um, so beautiful. It doesn't look makeup-y anymore. It looks very flawless. From the Herborean Super BB Cream, I have only the travel size bottle, which is 15 ml of product, 0.6 ounce product. And the regular size product is going to be 40 ml of product, same as the Sisley product, 40 ml of product, 1.3 fluid ounces. So just to let you know, you're getting the same amount of product. And I'm going to check in a few hours. I want to see how this is going to wear. Hey guys, it's been six hours now since I first applied the two tinted moisturizers. I did not touch up and I spent approximately four hours outside. Now I did a long walking distance, probably like around three kilometers and it's really hot. 
very, very humid and um, we don't have wind at all. So it's 31 degrees Celsius today, but it really feels like it's 40 because there is no wind whatsoever. And I felt like I was almost like felt like I was melting <laughs> and um, it was very challenging actually not to touch my face, but then everything is holding up very nicely. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see now. Let's be honest, um, if I was in an office environment, this was going to look so much better. And even now it looks very nice. Even though I wore this makeup only for six hours, I feel like the heat is so intense outside that it's like a 12 hour wear, wear test. Um, and I'm going to quickly refresh actually my makeup now um, after I show you the close up. Now, what I'm seeing here is the side with the Sisley is just a little bit better. Looks, um, it, it definitely looks better, the side with the Sisley. And the side with the Herborean Super BB cream, it definitely has here, it feels like the foundation started to get visible, unpleasantly shiny, so I would definitely need to blot. And if I was not doing this test, I was definitely going to blot a little and it's going to be um, so much better. But I'm going to try and refresh my makeup right now. Until the time when I went outside, everything was looking absolutely perfect and I absolutely loved, now I was more happy with this side, with the Herborean side. But probably because the coverage is a little bit heavier, you know that usually in very hot weather, very very hot and humid weather um, and if you don't blot usually thinner foundations with lighter coverage are going to survive better. I'm going to quickly refresh my makeup. If you want to know my tips on how to refresh makeup very quickly, I have a whole video and I think it might be useful, especially for the summer months. I'm going to link it here. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly blot to see what is going to happen. The main parts where I don't like my skin is around here. So I'm going to see if I can fix that only with them. Um, just a simple blotting. Okay, so this is just with simple blotting and I have to say that I really like how everything looks. Now, definitely this side survived better, but then on the box of the Herborean BB, it says apply a thin layer, a small amount. So probably I did apply too much product and probably I shouldn't have applied that much. Maybe I should apply a lot less and then it's going to last so much better, at least for, for this time of the year, at least for the summer months. I should definitely apply less. Now I'm seeing a breakout here, um, but that's because of the heat and because of the sensitivity of my skin. I'm just going to fix that quickly. I'm going to apply a little bit of the Herborean BB cream. Now I have to say that for now, I really like this product and considering that it's only a fraction of the price of the Sisley, Phytohydratant. I think that it's worth to try this one. The ingredients are great. Uh, you can see probably for yourself the ingredients are amazing, especially for people who have combination skin, but I think that it's going to work for all skin types, except for those of you who have very dry skin. You might find this to be a little bit drying and too thick and maybe it's going to emphasize and catch on dry patches and maybe it's going to emphasize some dilated pores if you have um, very dry skin. But this is also intended to be mostly for people who have problematic skin and acne prone skin. Also the ingredients are mostly targeting acne prone skin. I think that it's a great product for the summer months. Overall, my skin is very calm. Now I failed to mention that before these two products, I actually used an SPF, a dedicated SPF. I did not know that I was going to go out, but I use SPF just in case. And the one that I really like, it's very affordable and it's one of the very best that I have ever used. And makeup applies beautifully on this one. And even if you're in a hurry, you can skip, like sometimes you know, if I'm in a hurry, I just skip my whole skincare and I apply only this one. And it works beautifully on my skin. Um, this is the CeraVe cream. Now this one is mostly going to be suitable for normal to dry skin. If you have oily skin, it says that it's suitable for normal to dry skin, but honestly, I think that it's suitable for all skin types. I don't see why it would not work for oily skin as well, because it is so light. I'm actually going to show you the consistency. Um, it's like a light cream. It is white. Well, look at the color that my hand got. 
and then once you blend it the texture is so fresh it blends completely without leaving a greasy film on the face without leaving this heavy kind of a sunscreen feel on the face i cannot feel a fragrance it has ceramides as well so it has some great skincare ingredients Oh, it has nice cinnamide, which is great. So I don't see a reason why you wouldn't use it, even if you have oily skin. It says normal to dry skin, but I really don't see a reason why all skin types wouldn't benefit from this one. And it completely disappears into the skin. It just um, looks exactly like skin. It doesn't leave, a, it, it's not sticky. It is just one of the most beautiful SPFs that I have ever used. It has SPF 30 and it protects from UVB, UVA. It is a gorgeous product. I could not recommend this one enough and you can reapply it as many times as you want because this one is quite affordable. It's not like a, one of the expensive sunscreens where you're worried that it costs a fortune. So I think that this one is a great option for the summer months. So overall, I think that um, the new Herborium BB cream is a great option. It's uh, going to be a good alternative to the Sisley Phytohydra 10. They are different. The coverage is different. The way they feel on the skin is actually quite similar. Once I start applying them, this one feels thicker and I need a little bit more work to blend it. This one just blends like a dream, it blends super easy, but once they are blended into the skin, they both don't emphasize pores, fine lines. This one feels, uh, looks a little bit more makeup-y and has higher coverage, but I think that the price difference, it justifies trying this product, and if you don't want to spend that much money on the Sisley product, I think that this is going to be a great alternative. I like it. Overall, I like it. I would say that it did not beat my Sisley Tinted Moisturizer. I still, if I had to choose only one, I would still choose this one just because it feels lighter. It blends like, I don't use a mirror when I, when I use this one. If I'm in a hurry, I'm just going to apply this one with my fingers and I don't need to use a mirror. With this, I need to use a mirror because it has higher coverage and I really need to take my time blending it in, into my skin. But overall, a great product. So thank you so much for spending time with me and for watching my video. Let me know if you've tried this new BB cream, how it works for you, and please let us know what is your skin type because this is also something very important. Until next time, bye.